people of Reddit over 65 and under 18, if you could teach one thing to the other generation, what would it be? For 65 over, stop comparing us to other people, or comparing how you had it to how we have it. Vaping isn't cool. Which generation is this for? Both. Don't sweat the small stuff. Everything is small stuff. High school popularity does not last forever. Be kind to everyone you meet your opinion is not the only one and may not be the right one one size does not fit all don't keep toxic friends. Know when to let them go. I do not rely on my phone. I just prefer to pass time doing things on my phone. If you get my attention, I will put it down and listen. Please don't take the word depressed lightly. That's a great message but really could be used for all ages. People just younger than me, junior high high school age take depression very lightly, because a lot of them see it as a huge joke. With all the I hate myself and I'm triggered memes, it's hard to differentiate when someone is in real emotional distress, or if they just broke a nail slash failed a test. I feel like that's part of the larger problem as well. Something that seems trivial to one person, i.e. failing a test, chipping tooth, breaking nail, may be detrimental to another person's mental health. Some people reach out through humor but the only way to know if someone wants slash will accept your help is to just be aware of them and ask if they seem down. People want to avoid social awkwardness so they don't go out of their way to interact with people who seem volatile due to stress or depression. Video games don't cause violence. Abusive parenting, drugs and oh you're depressed just get over it cause violence this is for the stereotypical boomers edit, at first I did this as a meme but guess it kinda blew up, also by drugs I mean abusive drug use, addiction and whatnot. I'd like to add a lack of coping skills. Lots of adults out there unprepared to deal with life. Don't post everything you do on social media. I can't tell if that's for the older or younger generation. Same. The worst oversharers I know are older people. Younger people may post a lot, but I feel like tends to be a bit more filtered. That treating wait staff and assistants badly is not going to get you better service. I'd want to learn how to be tough like they were back in the day. Look into stoicism, it'll set you on a path. Inflation is a thing that exists. Stop complaining that your job made dollar four slash hour or something. There should be no complaints allowed about only making four dollars per hour in the days when four dollars could fill your car with gas. Man I miss dollar zero dot eighty seven slash gallon. The way to fix your tech problems already exists, and it's called Google. It's just laziness, 65 yo here but 30 plus years in IT, I was buying a new phone on Friday and an old guy came in with a problem. The sales guy said would you like to watch so you can do it yourself next time? The old boy's face looked like he'd been asked to put his cock in a mincer. It's so mind-blowing to watch someone with such a passion for DIY stuff absolutely short-circuit when it comes to troubleshooting tech problems. My dad, a man who constructed the majority of his own house, still doesn't know to Google something if his phone isn't working right. It's as if the problem can't be solved with a screwdriver, it might as well be witchcraft. Stop saying that younger generation is sloppy, lazy, and will never be as good as the older generation. The bar is pretty low if we're trying to be as good as the boomers. It's basically buried deep underground. Oh, you want me to spend my teenage years drinking, smoking weed, and driving cars in circles while listening to rock music? How could I possibly live up to that standard? How to use Hamon. As someone neither over 65, nor under 18, what? You can't pause an online game. Sure you can, you just nicely ask everyone to hold up until you get back. Online gamers are such a friendly and polite bunch, they will have no problem waiting for one of their friends. Stop clicking on free iPad offers and surveys. The computer is the box on the ground, the monitor is what you look at, the keyboard is what you type on, the mouse is what you move. All are separate entities. The files are inside the computer. It's perfectly acceptable to answer a question with I don't know. 
You don't need to have an answer for everything, and making something up and trying to argue with it is pointless. Edit, since a lot of people seem confused, I should probably clarify that this is mostly, at least for me, a thing with younger kids and boomers where they don't know the answer to a question and will make something up and argue it as fact. It can be for anyone, but I see it mostly in those demographics. My mill does this. Then acts like you're a dick if you look it up. You had me at mother-in-law. Enjoy your youth, it goes by in the blink of an eye. I'm actually enjoying my 30s more than my younger years. I've figured out how to have a good attitude and enjoy each day for what it is. Also, money. At least for most of us. Just because I don't do it the same exact way you would do it doesn't mean it's the wrong way if the result is exactly the same. Yes, when you were my age you didn't have smartphones and you used to have to underscore. I get it, but I can't help it. I know how to read a map, I go to the library all the time, I know my friends phone numbers, I'm sure you had things growing up your mom and dad didn't have. I appreciate it was different, but stop blaming me. I'm not even on your lawn so stop yelling at me. Hey you'll understand very soon, I'm 19 and already telling people to get off my lawn. You're 19 with a lawn? That's like Monopoly rich. That no Nigerian princes are giving money out. But this really nice prince said he would. Frown. I'm not a communist because I want to afford doctors and rent. Nowadays doctors go 250k plus in debt to become one. I'm starting to sense a pattern of misery here. Edit, a letter, an important one. I wish someone would teach me to sew. I can't afford classes, but it would love to alter thrift store clothes. Try the Google Bing. Ah, I see someone else has a certificate in computering. Advice from an old man, life isn't fair. Life is great if you want it to be. The only constant is change. Love the people who matter. Ignore the ones who don't. Prepare for the future but live in the present. Life isn't fair. I feel like when you say life isn't fair you should also include but that doesn't mean you should be apathetic towards people. Gen X over here under the bleachers, smoke in weed to relieve the aches and pains of middle age. Nobody pay attention to us. I can't find bleachers anywhere these days that have underneath access and it makes me sad. I have to smoke my weed on top of the monkey bars like a child. Hey, as long as you smoke it gone before security can crawl up and snag you, it's all good. I demand to speak to the manager is the least helpful thing to say, and it will never get you anything useful. Along similar lines, saying that you're running late for something or that you need IT now god damn it doesn't magic up the thing that you want. That's just childish, that's how a toddler thinks. Hey I know that our problems don't seem like much but for us they're huge so could you not dismiss them? I'm in my late 40s now, and the problems you and my kids have slash will have seemed gigantic and intractable. I'm doing my best to prepare them for the shit that is coming. Just doesn't feel like nearly enough. That we can do stuff and are not on our phones 24-7. What's weird is that boomers are the first to pull out their phones at a meal. Backslash please stop telling me that the food where I work sucks I don't know how to answer and I'm sorry but I'm only here to seat people and clean tables backslash and when I'm washing windows where I work please don't make jokes like okay can you come to mine next or act like you're putting your hand on the window literally everybody does that when they walk through the doors. Related, stop telling me that you think the cart corrals should face the other way. You think I put them there? That's above my minimum wage pay grade. Beyond that, I can't change it. Take the extra seven fucking steps to put your cart in properly. Being old isn't an excuse to be lazy, asshole. Being tall doesn't mean I play basketball so don't ask me that in front of family and friends as it's very awkward. And don't follow up with so why don't you? After I say I don't. Also, having a penis doesn't make me a handyman. Fixing things is something you learn. Not my fault all my dad taught me is to hold a flashlight and get yelled at, so don't make me feel guilty about it. So why don't you? 
The term I have anger issues is not a pass to treat others like shit. It's an acknowledgement that you are capable of bad to others, and have predetermined an outcome. I, for one of twelve, would hold you responsible for your actions. Definitely, don't use your personal challenges as an excuse to mistreat other people.